If you want to know how you can use selection boxes in Roblox Studio like this, you just hover over your mouse and a box appears. Make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my channel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can use selection boxes in studio. So what it is, you just hover over your mouse and um, a, a certain color box should appear like over, uh, like around it and that is a, a really cool feature. Uh, it, it, it has been since like 2019 in Roblox Studio but I never made a video on it and I think it's pretty cool. So let's start. So what you want to do, just create a part like this and what you can do you can just do whatever you want with that part we do not care what you do with the part so if you just put it oh, you can put it like over there so you want to add in a click detector and a script and a click detector you can do whatever you want if, if, if you click the, the the part disappears whatever you want to do we don't mind um, so what we're gonna be doing is a uh, script that parent that click detector the mouse hover enter so like your mouse uh, is hovering this this is hovering what I'm doing right now and it, then it enters the part so like um, the part over here if I do this I'm hovering on the part so mouse uh, hover enter colon connect function and we will leave the parameters empty so now we need to find uh, we need to check if you already have a selection box in it so if or actually we're gonna check if you don't have one, my bad. So if not, script that parent colon find first child selection box. Then so what we're doing, usually you do like if script that parent uh, colon find first child selection box. What you're doing, you're finding a selection box. But now we're checking if there's no selection box, and if there's nothing, we'll add one in. So local s is the instance dot new a selection box. And here's some tricky stuff. You want to do s dot adorni adorni adorni. I'm just gonna call it adorni. So s dot adorni is equals to script a parent. You need to set an adorni. So now s dot parents is equals to uh, script dot parent, and s dot color three is equals to color three dot new. And you want to do whatever you want. So you can go click here, and then you get these thingies. We want to click this one. Or actually, you want to click the other one, this one. Oh, you can't. This one. Now you can make it a color. So I think I w I'm just going to keep it on red because that's cool. So this is the color for red. Pretty cool. So now that is everything for the mouse uh, enter. But now, what if your mouse is not in it anymore? We're going to be doing that too. Script that parent that click the texture. You can guess what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using mouse hover leave. Oh, mouse hover leave. And that means if your mouse is like in the part, and you go out of it again. That is what mouse hover leave is. Colon connect, function, and again, we'll leave the parameters empty. So now if script the parent, now we will be finding a selection box. So if script the parent, colon find first child selection box, then so now we're checking if there's a selection box in the part and if there's a selection box uh, we're going to be deleting it by saying script that parent that selection box colon destroy because we're going to be destroying it so it uh it like goes away and now for funny purposes let's just make it so if you click the part gets destroyed entirely so script that parent click the texture mouse button uh, mouse button, what is it? Mouse click? Probably mouse, yep, mouse click. Click connect, function, like that. And let's just do script, that parent, colon destroy. So like, script, that parent, destroyed. So that is pretty much it for the tutorial. And you just want to test it out. You can customize the colors, whatever you want. You can even do a randomized color. So let's just do this, as you can see. Now there is a thingy, and if I go out of it, it's gone. So boom 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 and if I click boom it's destroyed entirely and if you want a color randomizer um, you, you can do that 
And in order to make it a randomizer, delete these numbers and type math.random, open bracket, close bracket, comma, math.random, open bracket, close bracket, comma, and one last time, math.random, open bracket, close bracket. So you should have s.color3 is equal to color3.new, math.random, 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 random, sorry. You should have that, and um, that is it. So if you would go over here, as you can see, now it's pink. Now it's, uh, what is it, yellowish? Now it's green, dark green, uh, cyan, purple, and a lot of colors. So you could just do this, and as you can see, there is going to be a lot of thingies. And if you now click it, boop, it's gone. So this is uh, pretty much the tutorial, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, and if you did, give it a like, and uh, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell, and, like, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.